big old bungalow today. Anyway, been cavity, cavity wall insulation has been injected. That's what you normally see is the holes. You can see they've made a really good effort at pointing it in. So it hides where it's been injected. Suspended timber floor. So what you typically find is you get a lot of wood room issues, soaking wet cavity wall insulation a lot. And basically, if you look down here, this is where the downpipe come down. And then if you look here, you couldn't get the camera quick look through. That is basically, you can see the water, we put the water down there. Um, for some reason, the drain stops there, nothing else. And it's not unusual to find that. Um, I've got another couple of videos I've got to put online basically where the cavities have been flooding out and this has happened. So, should this house have been injected without all this being checked? Wow, that's the big question. And if you come down here as well, all along there, it's blocked to about there. So what we're going to do is basically move all the gutter in so it comes back down this way. It's a big old garden. We'll get a soak away down the back there. That boy, it's going to be a pain trying to take all this block paper up everywhere and make it all look nice. But yeah, big question. Why isn't it checked? And I did do a video the other day about soakaways. And I think this is 70s, this building. Um, so one of them's blocked and this one hasn't been done properly. So it begs a question, isn't it? This stuff should be in, should be inspected prior to injecting it. That's my opinion. Thanks for watching.